What is chemical sediment? Chemical sediment refers to a type of sedimentary rock formation that occurs through the precipitation of minerals from a solution. Unlike clastic sedimentary rocks, which are formed from the accumulation and compaction of fragments of pre-existing rocks, chemical sedimentary rocks originate from dissolved ions in water. These dissolved ions can come from various sources such as rivers, lakes, oceans, or groundwater. The process of chemical sedimentation begins when water becomes saturated with dissolved minerals. This saturation can happen due to factors like evaporation, cooling, or changes in pressure. When the concentration of dissolved minerals exceeds the solubility limit, they start to precipitate out of the solution, forming solid particles known as precipitates. Over time, these precipitates accumulate and eventually form sedimentary rocks through processes like cementation and crystallization. Some common types of chemical sedimentary rocks include limestone, gypsum, halite, and dolomite. Each type of chemical sedimentary rock has its own unique characteristics and formation process. For instance, limestone is primarily composed of calcium carbonate precipitated from the remains of marine organisms like shells and coral. Gypsum and halite, on the other hand, form from the evaporation of water in arid environments, leaving behind mineral deposits. Chemical sedimentary rocks often exhibit distinct features such as crystalline textures, layering, and interlocking crystals, reflecting the conditions under which they formed. They are also valuable sources of information about past environments and climates, as their formation is closely tied to the geochemical conditions prevailing at the time. In summary, chemical sedimentary rocks are formed through the precipitation of minerals from solution, resulting in the accumulation of sedimentary deposits that eventually solidify into rocks. These rocks play a crucial role in understanding Earth's history and geological processes. Formation of Chemical Sediments The formation of chemical sediments is a complex process influenced by a variety of factors, including the composition of the water, environmental conditions, and the presence of organisms. Let's delve deeper into the mechanisms involved in the formation of chemical sediments. Solution and Dissolution Chemical sediments begin their journey as dissolved ions in water. These ions come from the weathering and erosion of pre-existing rocks and minerals. When water interacts with these rocks, it can dissolve certain minerals, carrying them along as solutes. Transportation Once dissolved in water, these ions are transported through various hydrological pathways. Rivers, streams, groundwater, and ocean currents can all serve as vehicles for the movement of dissolved minerals. During transportation, these ions can mix with other dissolved substances, undergo chemical reactions, or precipitate out of solution under certain conditions. Saturation As water moves through the environment, its chemical composition can change due to factors like temperature, pressure, and the concentration of dissolved ions. When conditions favor the concentration of certain minerals to exceed their solubility limit, the water becomes supersaturated. This state of supersaturation triggers the precipitation of minerals, leading to the formation of solid particles known as precipitates. Nucleation and growth The process of precipitation typically begins with the nucleation of tiny mineral particles. These nucleation sites can be provided by pre existing mineral grains, organic matter or even impurities in the water. Once nucleation occurs, the precipitates continue to grow as more dissolved ions are added to the solid phase. Cementation and crystallization, over time, these precipitates accumulate and undergo further transformations. Cementation occurs as the precipitates become compacted and cemented together by minerals like calcite, silica, or iron oxides. Crystallization processes may also occur, resulting in the growth of larger mineral crystals within the sediment. Accumulation and lithification, as the precipitates continue to accumulate, they form layers of sediment. These layers may undergo compaction under the weight of overlying sediment, leading to the expulsion of poor water and the consolidation of the sedimentary deposit. Over millions of years, this process of lithification transforms the accumulated sediments into solid chemical sedimentary rocks. Throughout this journey, 
environmental factors such as temperature, pH, salinity, and the presence of organic matter can profoundly influence the formation of chemical sediments. Additionally, biological processes, such as the activity of organisms that secrete calcium carbonate shells or the decomposition of organic matter, can play significant roles in facilitating sedimentation and mineral precipitation. In summary, the formation of chemical sediments is a dynamic process shaped by the interplay of geological, chemical, and biological factors. It involves the precipitation of dissolved minerals from solution, their accumulation into sedimentary deposits, and their eventual transformation into solid rocks through processes like cementation and lithification. Properties of Chemical Sediments The properties of chemical sediments, which ultimately determine the characteristics of the resulting sedimentary rocks, are influenced by various factors including mineral composition, texture, structure, and geochemical conditions during formation. Let's explore these properties in more detail. Mineral Composition Chemical sediments are predominantly composed of minerals that precipitate directly from solution. The specific minerals present depend on the chemical composition of the water from which they precipitate. Common minerals found in chemical sediments include calcite, calcium carbonate, gypsum, calcium sulfate, halite, sodium chloride, dolomite, calcium magnesium carbonate, and various evaporite minerals. Texture the texture of chemical sediments varies depending on factors such as grain size, shape, and sorting. Chemical sedimentary rocks often exhibit fine grain textures due to the precipitation of minerals from solution, resulting in crystals that are relatively small and interlocking. However, some chemical sediments may also exhibit coarser textures, especially in cases where larger crystals or aggregates form. Structure Chemical sediments can display a variety of structures, including layering, bedding, lamination, nodules, concretions, and crystalline textures. Layering often reflects changes in environmental conditions or variations in sediment supply over time. Nodules and concretions may form through the concentration of certain minerals around a nucleus or through the precipitation of minerals within the sediment matrix. Color the color of chemical sediments is influenced by factors such as mineral composition, organic matter content, and diagenetic processes. For example, sedimentary rocks containing iron-rich minerals may exhibit red, yellow, or brown hues due to the presence of iron oxides. Organic matter can impart dark colors such as black or gray, while certain minerals may contribute unique colors to the sedimentary rock. Porosity and Permeability porosity and permeability, which refer to the volume of open spaces, pores, within the rock and its ability to transmit fluids, respectively, are important properties of chemical sediments. The porosity of chemical sediments can vary depending on factors such as grain size, sorting, and cementation. Permeability is influenced by the connectivity and geometry of pore spaces, as well as the presence of fractures or other permeable pathways. Diagenetic alterations, diagenetic processes, which occur after sediment deposition but before lithification, can significantly alter the properties of chemical sediments. These processes include compaction, cementation, recrystallization, dissolution, and mineral replacement. For example, compaction reduces porosity and increases sediment density, while cementation binds sediment grains together, enhancing rock strength. Fossil content. Chemical sediments may contain fossils, particularly those formed in marine environments where organisms contribute to the precipitation of minerals. Fossils found in chemical sedimentary rocks can provide valuable information about past environments, climates, and ecosystems. Understanding the properties of chemical sediments is essential for interpreting Earth's history, reconstructing past environments, and assessing the economic potential of sedimentary deposits. By examining the mineral composition, texture, structure, color, porosity, permeability, and diagenetic history of chemical sediments, geologists can unravel the complex processes that shape our planet's surface. Types of Chemical Sediments Chemical sediments encompass a diverse range of sedimentary rocks that form through the precipitation of minerals from solution. 
These rocks can be classified into various types based on their mineral composition, depositional environments, and geological processes. Let's explore some of the key types of chemical sediments. Carbonate rocks. Limestone. Limestone is one of the most abundant types of chemical sedimentary rocks, composed primarily of calcium carbonate. It often forms in marine environments through the accumulation of carbonate minerals precipitated from seawater or by the accumulation of calcareous skeletal remains of marine organisms like corals, mollusks, and foraminifera. Dolostone, dolostone, or dolomite rock, is composed primarily of the mineral dolomite, which forms through the replacement of calcium in limestone by magnesium ions. Dolostone can originate through the direct precipitation of dolomite from seawater or through the diagenetic alteration of limestone. Evaporites Gypsum Gypsum is a sedimentary mineral composed of calcium sulfate dihydrate. It forms in arid or semi-arid environments where the evaporation of water leads to the precipitation of dissolved minerals. Gypsum can accumulate as bedded deposits, often associated with other evaporite minerals like halite and anhydrite. Halite, halite, or rock salt, is composed of sodium chloride and forms through the evaporation of saline waters, typically in restricted basins such as evaporite basins or salt flats. Halite deposits can occur as massive beds or as interbedded layers with other evaporite minerals. Chert. Chert. Chert is a microcrystalline or cryptocrystalline sedimentary rock composed predominantly of silica. It forms through the accumulation of silica precipitated from solution, often in the form of microscopic organisms like diatoms, radiolarians, and sponges. Chert can occur as nodules, bedded layers, or massive deposits. Phosphorites Phosphorite Phosphorite is a sedimentary rock rich in phosphate minerals, primarily apatite. It forms through the accumulation of phosphatic sediments in marine environments, often associated with organic-rich deposits and upwelling zones where phosphorus is concentrated. Iron-rich sediments. Ironstone. Ironstone is a sedimentary rock containing significant amounts of iron minerals, such as hematite or siderite. These rocks can form through various processes, including the chemical precipitation of iron oxides or carbonates in marine or lacustrine environments, as well as the diagenetic alteration of other sedimentary rocks. Siliceous sediments. Diatomite, diatomite, also known as diatomaceous earth, is a sedimentary rock composed of the siliceous remains of diatoms, a type of microscopic algae. It forms in lacustrine or marine environments where diatoms accumulate and undergo diagenetic processes, resulting in the formation of porous and lightweight deposits. Each type of chemical sedimentary rock has distinct characteristics, origins, and depositional environments. By studying these rocks and their associated features, geologists can gain valuable insights into past environments, climate conditions, and geological processes that have shaped Earth's surface over millions of years.